I've always been into like children's book. Um, even when I was little, my mom always had me write her stories as I was growing up, and I always like you know wrote the whole thing out and drew all the pictures to go with it. So I always had that playful quality with my artwork. Um, and then also having the experience of like art therapy and internships and stuff as well. I got that background in seeing how art can be like an interactive thing with people and getting them to be involved with it as well. I like to view art more as like a process versus like it's just something that's completed and you can go look at someone's finished work and it just sits on the wall or sits on the table or something. That's what I wanted to incorporate in my show was to have a table or an area where people could come in and get to work with the clay and then add to this uh, like month-long sculpture that's going on there. The paintings that I do even have like a nice textural quality. I like to have lots of texture on there so people will come up and like want to feel it and you know be part of experience the process of the work instead of just looking at the final product. You know, I wanted to bring to the viewers or the members uninhibited imagination and the concept of childhood play and how like as a kid you just always creating, destroying, you know, just being crazy and not even worrying about the consequences or anything. You, you know, don't feel any restrictions at all. I want people to feel free to come in throughout the month and, you know, even with the interactive media, like work with the clay and just watch things evolve because I don't think art is ever a finished, like black and white kind of thing. It's very fluid and evolves as you work with the different media.